So, uh, you know, coming to Ames, I think um, one of the uh, things that's quite different from working at it, spending a lot of years in Washington, D.C., uh, is around, uh, this is a very, very high-end operational environment. And one of the things I got to recognize right away was the diversity in the environment and diversity of the systems that are required to uh, run this environment here. So at Ames Research Center, you have uh, not just uh, you know your typical government uh, activities going on, but we have an active airfield. We have a fire department. We have a police department. We have a medical center. Um, and then you look at that and then you put on, on that on top of the core work that we do where we have to support scientists, engineers, researchers, and then they're kind of commodity users. So the, the big challenge was the diversity of the environment and how do you kind of corral all the diversities that are, that are uh, within the environment and give everybody a good, uh, a good experience from an IT perspective. So that was one of the huge challenges that we had. I said the other challenge that we had was also being an operational environment uh, is how do you meld operations with compliance activities? Uh, when you're in Washington, D.C., generally it's a very kind of common computing environment, uh, and compliance is a little easier to integrate in, into those environments. Well, here at Ames Research Center, uh, like most of the NASA centers, they're very highly operational, what we call operational tempo and things like that. It's very, very difficult to meld in uh, compliance into an operational environment. The way you get through that and the way you get, a, you, you get that to work for you is you have to, what I call, operationalize compliance. And basically what that means is that you have to build compliance measures into the everyday uh, working activities of your customer base. So how do you do that? You, don't just, you can't just force feed it in there. What you have to do is what I always tell folks is you, is you have to articulate the value of the activity to the customer. And you have to be able to do it in a way that they can understand it, in the way that they derive value. I always tell folks that value goes two ways. Uh, we have a value, uh, 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 look at value from our perspective as providers, and then the receivers also have a perspective on, on value. So we have to talk in their language what's value, and then when they derive the value, it's a lot easier to integrate that. So what we do is we spend a lot of times with the customer, high touch environment, a lot of communications, and that has helped operationalize them to the everyday activities of, of our customer base.